Okay, welcome to our channel. I'm Corinne from Grace Knit Stitchers, and I say ours because my daughter Colleen is sometimes on with me, and I'll say sometimes because it's not going to be a regular thing anymore. Um, this is my second take, so if it doesn't seem natural, I really apologize. But I sat here and I recorded a whole 15 minutes and came back to turn off, uh, turn off recording and realized I never hit record. So, anyway. I thought I would show you my progress. Where did I put it now? Uh, I had stitched um, Cinderella on the stairs. This is, was a rack and it's a heaven and earth design. And I really did enjoy working on this. Um, so I got 410 stitches into this. Right now I am, I'm working through all of my whips that I can. So I am up to C's and I'm in no new starts, which is why I put NNS on the last one uh, prep, because up until Christmas, I'm trying to get 200 into everything I can. And um, after that, we'll see what I do. <laughs> and then, cause I have till December 31st to start all the things and then no new starts. I am doing work your whips, which means I do get one freebie, which I already know is Red Riding Hood from Frosted Pumpkin. And then I can earn some new starts, but other than that, I really don't want to start anyway. I don't mind starting some stitch alongs, but. So before I started that, I went ahead and I numbered my Pago. There are 50 colors and there were exactly 50. So I decided not to use my floss cards. Um, for me, I go ahead and I label this just so I know. And I handwrite because my label maker is not small enough for inside of the, the Pago. Um, so I use Annie, Annie's Keepers. I've started using Annie's Keeper. So that's what some of these threads are. That's why there are so many. And then the rest are the threads that I started. Um, I would take them off my floss bobbins and I would put them onto here as I was using the strings, the threads, uh, just to make it easier. Um, let's see here. A couple things. So my winner did contact me. So yay, I already got that out. It's in a card ready to go. Uh, stamped it and everything so the winner from our my little mouse um pattern that's out and I'm trying to think anything else um so i did get something special today i got an email from black needle society and i was taken off the wait list and now i get to be part of the subscription club so i'm really really excited uh i paid today and my first box arrives in March. Um, so I just, I told you earlier, uh, when I was showing off the pattern of Cinderella, um, my daughter and I went to the grocery store. We literally walked in the door from the grocery store. I opened my email and there it was. I shrieked, like totally shrieked. And my girls thought something was wrong. Like what's going on mom? Oh, Oops, but I came tearing up the stairs. Uh, John is starting to feel better. He's planning on going back to work on Monday. So that's good. He's just resting up now. And I went to the top of the stairs and I'm like, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. And then I go back downstairs and I sign up for the club and put my credit card information in and all that. It takes you to this confirmation screen and it tells you all about the club, like how the subscription box works and that kind of thing. So I sent that link to him so he could see that it was done. He's like, well, what do you want? I'm like, what do you mean? What do I want? And he's texting me back. Um, like, what is it that you're asking for? I'm like, I'm not asking for anything. I'm showing you. I did it. It's done. And he's like, oh, but, but you just were up here showing me the email. I'm like, yeah. And he just like sent me some kind of weird emoji. Like, of course you've already signed up. Like it's only been two minutes, but you already signed up for the club. But you know, that's me. I didn't want to miss out because if you don't answer within 24 hours, your name goes to the bottom of the wait list. Did not want to have that happen because I've been waiting for this since the end of April. So very cool. Very cool. All right. And I will show you later what uh, I unwrapped because it is so delicious. And I just want to show it to you. That was for my advent box from them. So the next project I'm going to work on before I show it to you, if you happened to know a theme, notice a theme, I have been working on five or six Cinderella patterns. And that's because my whip list for no new starts is in alphabetical order. I will 
put a disclaimer in here. I know I made a few mistakes because as I was writing them in alphabetical order, I'd go, oh, there's one I forgot. And I would just quick put it in. So yes, I know they're not exactly in alphabetical order. And um, your whip list has to be in the same order of your album. So as I'm putting them in the album, I'm touching my whips. So that's just what I'm trying to do right now. So I got my official 200 stitches into Cinderella, a lot of Cinderella's, and now I'm doing coffee first. So you might see a few coffee patterns. I know somebody said <clears throat> that I might have a coffee problem, but you know, you be the judge. Uh, so this is um, by Luminous Fiber Arts. It is my first uh, Luminous Fiber Arts pattern. I got it at StitchCon along with this fabric, um, which I'm so thankful is already cut and surged. Um, I don't remember what it's called. It's on my list. So if I remember, I'll bring it down. I did write it down. Um, I'm thinking it's under the sea. I just really can't remember. And then I'm using all the called for. So it's classic color works and weak dye works. Oh, I already had them out. So I'm really, really excited. I think this is going to just look fantastic. So... At least I think so. I love those colors on there. So I'm really looking forward to this. So it will probably be morning. I can't imagine that I'm going to finish this tonight. Um, my daughter and I are going to watch a show, but it's, it's only like 45 minutes when you don't watch commercials. So I'm planning on just uh, stitching until our show's over and then I'll probably go to bed for the night. Um, and then I'll be back tomorrow with an update. Bye for now. All right. So I'm only gonna be down here for a minute because Zoom is going on and I don't wanna miss out on Zoom. All right, so I got 200 stitches done in my project. Oops, upside down. I'm really pleased with this. I love how it's looking. And again, that was Coffee First by Luminous Fiber Arts. And this was actually a project that Colleen picked. We kept looking at it and she likes birds and she kept saying, mom, you really should stitch that one. Mom, you should really stitch that one. And I kept putting it off. So I started it. And then um, I am going to start Arabian Princess on Zoom. So we'll see how this goes. My boss came today. Can I tell you how dumb I am sometimes with the stupid things I do? So I went to cut the top off, but I didn't like shake it down first and I felt it. I cut, I cut right through this and into this from the packaging, but I felt it and I was like, stop cutting, shake it down, rip. So fortunately it was only one strand and I didn't even cut all the way through, but uh, I only have one of these. So I hope I don't need more than that. But I'm so thrilled. This is Light Effects. I couldn't remember the name of it the other day. And it starts with an E of um, DMC. So whew, I'm going to quick grab a floss card before I forget um, the threads that I was using and a floss drop. And off I go to back to Zoom. See you after a while. Hi, I am back. Can I tell you how good it feels to be the same evening and get another 200 stitches done? So, Arabian Princess. I'm probably going to have to put something behind this. Because at least on Zoom, you could see right through it. So, this is Light Effects. And it's upside down. This is Light Effects from DMC. It is a metallic floss. And it's okay to work with. But my pattern calls for two strands. So, that is very interesting to work with. Um, but I do love how it looks. The fabric is just a black even weave. I had gotten it on Etsy. It is cotton. It is not Lugana, nor is it um, Joblin. So I will say be cautious because I had a customer contact me and say they had ordered a tan off of Etsy and it was supposed to be Lugana, but it's really stiff like Ada. And she was asking me about if my Lugana was like that. And I said, no. And then as I'm talking to her, I'm like, yep, I just ordered the same thing probably same person uh and it's even weave it is not Lugana for my project I'm okay with that so she didn't like her so she's ordering from me which is pretty cool but um yeah you can hear it um it's almost like um a canvas but that's okay it it's showing up what I needed it to and I was able to use just my magnifier 
I'm pretty happy about that. And I did bring down my treat from Advent. Oh, I couldn't think of that word. All right, this is really cool. It is called Christmas Clotted Cream Fudge, but I had turned it over and I had seen the caramels. So I knew without a doubt, no matter what, I was gonna like this. And I opened it up and it's like little caramel creams. But I'm not eating this right now. I just put my aligners back in. That little thing is so rich. Mm. You have to take that in small little tiny bites. That is so good. I'll save that for later. Um, and then my next project in my ABC list would be Coffee Obsessed, which I already have kitted up. I've already started. This is by Lila's Studio. It uses mostly classic color works and one color of DMC. Where did I get this? Oh, I got this at Just Cross Stitch. Hmm. And I'll show you where I'm starting. Oh goodness, I didn't bring my book down, but it looks like 40 count. And I'm stitching it with one thread, so that tells you it's 40 count. Because that's the only thing I've started uh, over one. So this I probably just started last month, but I'm going to go ahead and put 200 more stitches into it because I can. Alright, I will see you back after my next 200 stitches. Bye! So, uh, Zoom went really well last night and I got three projects with 200 stitches in each. So I was really happy. Um, well, till the time I was done with it. Oh, sorry. So I showed you the beginning of blessed or stressed, blessed and copy obsessed. So I got quite a few words in. So I got my 200 for that and I'm really happy with that. And then... Instead of going into Coffee Quaker, which is the next one on my list, I'm actually going to go ahead and put like, I don't know, probably 1,600 stitches into my hate. It needs some love. And I never got my unicorn trap finished, so I want to go ahead and get that knocked out. And I want to see where I can get. I have my stand all set up and ready to go. So, you know, I just need to get some time into this, some love into it, get that challenge knocked out. And then I will go back to my new starts and continuing with my 200 stitches. But I did not want to put this off till next week when I'm going to have to like really kick into some of those new starts if I haven't started them all yet. I had three new starts over the past two days. So I'm kind of impressed with that. Um, they seem to be pretty good, easier projects. And even the Arabian Princess with the black, pretty good. So, I mean, that was moving at a decent pace. So, I mean, I bet if I worked on nothing but that, I'd probably be done in like two weeks. So, maybe the week, month that is called on Wivgo, I'll knock that one out. But anyway, um, my son's girlfriend is here for the day. And so we went out to King of Prussia, went shopping, and then it's, <laughs> believe it or not, it's already nine after nine o'clock. So I have not stitched at all today. Um, but we will, she was knitting. She brought some knitting. So I was showing her like a shortcut with her, her knitting. Um, Cause she kept dropping her thread and I showed her how to keep it up on her finger. So that will always be there ready to go. And then um, got her a new pattern so she can make some dishcloths. And then, um, yeah, I, I offered to have her be a guest star, but she, she's a little shy. So she didn't want to do that. Um, but anyway, I will be back when I get, Lots of progress in this, so I don't know if that'll be a day or two. But anyway, I will be back. Do you want to say goodbye, Paris? She's hiding behind the hate. That's Heroes and Heroines, by the way, from Heaven and Earth Designs, if you did not know that. But that is my love. I love the colors in it. And it's a max color. And no, it's not. It's an expanded color edition. And uh, that will be my focus challenge for 2022. I will not finish it because there's no way, but my goal is 44,000 pen stitches. So 22,000 in 2022. All right, I'll be back. Hi, we're back. It is December 21st and it's a special day for us because 12, 21, 21. And <laughs> I don't know if they can see that. 
turned up. Weird. Yes, today Colleen turned 19. So befrazzled, bedad, bread, whatever, bedhead looking. We've had a long day because it is almost 11 p.m. So anyway, we're just going to tell you a little bit about our day. I'm going to catch you up on where I am in my new starts and everything. There isn't a hold on my new starts. I think I told you because I wanted to work on Heroes and Heroines. So I have gotten a thousand stitches in. So I'm pretty pleased with my progress. So we're going to keep going. I want another thousand um, because I'm trying to work my unicorn trot, which means eight times three, 2,400. So I need 2,400 stitches in that. So 1,400 to go. So when we get upstairs, I'm going to try to stitch a little. We are going to have ice cream, mm -hmm. and cake, and then um, you might have a new start. I don't know. I'm tired. I think the day hit her. We spent a lot of the day in the car. That was fun because we did what I wanted to do. We went to visit a, a different Hobby Lobby because she's been hearing stories about this Hobby Lobby. And they're big and they got more space. A lot of stuff. They literally put shelves up, like, five high of furniture. Because I want the same furniture we bought from this. Like us. But they have, like, a lot of furniture just out and about. And that's so unfair. So what did you buy for yourself at this Hobby Lobby? Uh, I got a mock pillow. So she brought her Kindle. Tablet pillow. Yeah, she brought a pillow. It's blue. I mean, so, a Kindle. Like, yeah. I have stories for everything I buy, for, like, just because. Um, because... Nobody buys ours, and it comes in four different colors. No, I don't order them because we don't need and them. And they have a unicorn one. That's for the pet ones, but because <laughs> the bloom was on the shelf, I said I had to get it. <laughs> so, it <coughs> work, and it's a pillow, so you can even just lay on it. Um, it's got a strap, and it's got a little sleeve. I like it. Um, so, so anything else? Well, what else do I have from Hot Lobby? Not that you brought down. What did I get? Gifts. Right? I don't know if I can spoil them on here. I don't. But I got gifts from my now. She's gonna be spoiled. Yeah. That's right. What? Um Whoa. He's having fun. I know it smells good. I found that I love Bath and Body Works, so I bought another candle. This one we've burned twice now, but I'm like it smells so we love good. this smell so much, we're probably just gonna burn it all oh, the time. So. That I was gonna need mm. This is called Love and it's Cotton Candy Champagne. Oh my gosh. We are all in love with this. So yes, it's like when I she spray. just. Okay, I've. Mm, so a lot of this. And I'm allergic scent. to a lot of scents. So this is awesome that we all like this. Because mm -hmm. we have like love, joy, hope, and peace. As soon as I smelled this, I'm like, my. Oh yeah. I'm in love with my that. scent. <laughs> but. Oh, um, so we went to lunch at Panera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we had our own private dining room. We got there and it was packed. Mm -hmm. Every seat was taken. So we get through the restaurant and a crinsel and wall. I was like, oh, there's an empty table for four seats. And then I see a jacket on the table. Yeah, I remember On the chair. Mm -hmm. So we just came like, okay, let's just keep going. So we kept going through and we get to the back corner and there is a table with two chairs. And this is in so its own little tiny room, like in windows. Mm -hmm. And then there's two chairs off to the side. So the girls are like, let's pull that out. And we'll just, and it worked out perfect. And so we went to Panera. Then we went to Hobby Lobby. Mm -hmm. And then there was a Walmart my husband had gotten. He had me put in my shopping cart a certain body wash. They mm -hmm. substituted with one that he does not like. So I had to do it like a return through Walmart app to for that. And I said, well, we're going down to this other town, so I'll see if they have it. And they did. But we picked up, Lauren and I, we piled around and we picked up some stocking stuffers for them. And you got yourself some things. Oh, uh, six foot long blanket. <laughs> it's oversized throw. I'm like, I can't resist that. And it looks blue. It's mostly gray, but. Oh, maybe you want to come back? Oh, yeah. Oh, and then her sister had to stop her from buying something right where's the sticker um because i all got, got us all uh things and oh you yeah so they have stickers but they have dozen so i got for the girls i got a sticker no oh, you can't take one of those i know but the sticker for 
Herds. No, so like we got, no, it's not a sticker, sorry. We got bottles. Like I'm getting them for presents and stuff. Yeah. So. Like drinking water bottle type mm -hmm. things. Nice um, ones. You also things. got something else at Walmart. This thing. <laughs> That's annoying, to be honest. I like Christian. Yeah, people with headphones will not like it. It's not that loud, but it's if you get the idea, it's the thing that you just push back and forth. Yeah, what it's the new fidget spinner. I thought you brought something else down. Okay, I'm just going crazy. So, never mind, because this was not Walmart. Um. Then after Walmart, we went over to the mall because she's been wanting a new promise ring. She hasn't been in love yeah. with the so years ago she lost it down the vent, yeah, like the air vent. Yeah, it's just within reach. You can't reach it, but it's right there. So. And we even had a guy come in and clean it, and he couldn't get it. Yeah, yeah. So we replaced it with one from Kohl's, but it just didn't satisfy because it wasn't exactly But I did the same. deal with it for like two years, so that's but what she's just with. always like, I, I want a different one. So um, we never get to a Litman Jewelers because we don't ours is closed. And this one was quite a distance, but it's close enough to that Hobby Lobby that I said, we'll go over to Litman Jewelers. And what did you get there? <laughs> Not the same price. Like, yeah, no prices. It's definitely worth a lot. Like, because I did do some savings with it. Is this like the biggest spend you've had? On one item? Yes. Because <laughs> I think it is. But I don't know. Like, even camera's not going to do it justice. But it's really nice. If I hold it closer, I don't know. Are you going to take it off and hold it up? Because even, even the detail there. And she was like, are you, are you sure you want it? Or Cause they are going out of business. Yep. And everything. And I was just like, yeah. <laughs> like I like we've gone to so many places and I don't like stuff because we take the pictures and every time I'm like I don't like it but I always say it's the person and we haven't just like can we just take a picture and maybe come back <laughs> and went That's to just... Starbucks right, and, and I... you found a drink you like uh -huh. but anyway yeah because when I saw this ring even you know I was in the display I was like I like that one so I'm like can I see that one and then she put it on and she's like well, and then after that, we went down back to your Hobby Lobby yes. to say hello to everybody because she wanted to see them on her birthday, mm -hmm. and she was showing off her ring at work. One of my favorite people there, she thought I was engaged. Oh, yeah. I was so excited. I'm just like, look, look. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> like, yeah, wrong finger. Yeah. Um, nah. You got something else at the mall. I at forgot about that. store Hallmark, and I saw it, and I'm like, I mean... I pinched the cheese. So I'm like, uh, I need it. <laughs> oh, my fuzzy lips. It's a squish. She likes strawberries. And I had a strawberry drink, and I just like strawberries in general. But she wore her blue so today. Good. She was all And they were out. like, oh, yeah, the ring matches your dress. I'm like, oh, yeah. Because those are my jacket the entire time. She was dressed up all day. Um, And then we came home. We wrapped some of those Christmas gifts, got them out of the tree, under the tree, got living room straightened up so that pictures would be pretty good for her mm -hmm. presents, yeah, gift giving. Mm -hmm. Wait, you want to close your eyes? It's just real quick. Can I open it? I think it's on this side. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you it it. It's literally a cup. <laughs> Do I want to know where that magnet came from? The other side? Mm -hmm. I just had one. Okay. But I I'm pretty sure it's this off. side, but anyway. It might be. <laughs> it's a noodle wonder. <laughs> it works. Because <laughs> I love Star Trek so much. <laughs> oh, yes. Mom was busy making needle minders. And I knew I would have the magnets dried and ready to go for today. My birthday. Did I not night. tell you I'd have them ready today? Uh -huh. So I made her two Star Trek ones. Um, we left Hobby Lobby. <sighs> yeah, came home, did some wrapping, cleaned up. Cleaned up the living room a little bit. <laughs> yeah, because we just come in and like dropped everything. Ooh, but I got a nostalgia thing. That's why I got Hobby Lobby. Um, it's a little mini, like. It's more maker. It's more maker, but no, it's not like a maker. It's a marshmallow roaster and it has the slots just around its circuit. Tonight? You don't have the stuff. You have marshmallows. No, I don't. Um, but yeah, I got that and it's nice and cute. And they have strawberry surprise too. So. So we've got to order some marshmallows. I got you a bucket. Trash can. Trash can too. <laughs> and basket thing. 
Um, and then we went out to dinner. We went to Texas Roadhouse. And you got? Well, I was going to get prime rib because Papa was like... My uh, dad had her all convinced that she needed to get prime rib for her birthday. I'm not a huge fan of steak. But he was like, like certain doneness of it. He told me, he's like, and ask for our Jew. And when we get there and right on the door, it smack says like, prime rib is only for certain days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Friday, Saturday, Sunday, something like that. But, I mean, it depends on where they're from, but they don't usually disappoint, so I went with ribs. Barbecue ribs, they're good. Yep, they do like ribs. And then we came home for presents. Mm -hmm. Do you have some presents in front of you? Oh, yeah, I didn't show them. Uh, which order? Doesn't matter. How about yeah. that? Yeah. I mean, I'll close it up. I have a recipe basket. I'm looking at the dog. <laughs> Longer I hear burger. funny noises. Longer burger, longer burger, longer burger. That is a recipe basket. I have one, and I saw this one. Does it say recipes on it like yours does? I think so. I don't know. Because it would say it right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Isn't it rest like this? Yeah, it does go that way. There we go. Um, And I was at a store, and I saw it, and the lid was still in the plastic. And it had a really cute liner, so I thought oh, I need to buy that. I think I know where Colleen. you got this one. Where? It's from the antique store. I saw it sitting there. You saw that? No, like, no. Longerberg doesn't just sit somewhere. Like, it has to be a certain place, so. Yeah. Usually yard sales because. Yeah. I, mean, I don't even know if they're still like, selling. They're just like a basket of thing. Uh. She, because she's had this apparently from January, Leanne, my sister. Um, so I have a nice blue scrunchie from the dollar store. <laughs> and Hobby Lobby, and I wonder if she got the 50 off or not. It says, remember what is important to you. And it's a burrow on the Ruby Tree Bridge. Mm -hmm. So I might make that into a necklace. Mm -hmm. I don't have any charms of that color. But then inside, I also have a ladle. And I got to pick it. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna get that and uh, that in there. I don't think that's gonna fit. That will. Yeah. I feel guilty though, but it kind of makes sense. I okay. got scissors. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so they are beautiful. I have not taken them out of the packaging. Ah. They're so pretty. I'm sorry. For uh, for me, there's nothing Because like she has a matching scissors. pair of mine, but these are so, actually blue. Yeah. So, I think I'm, it's almost like they're flowers, but I feel like they could be birds on the trees or something. They're called juniper, like a tree. Juniper. I have no, oh, designer juniper embroidery scissors. Um, they're just like, the pe like a pastel blue with dark brown. Like, that's so pretty together. And there's blue goo on there. Um, I got some patterns. Mm -hmm. She picked these out because they're not designs I haven't done before. Abby Rose Designs, Heaven and Nature Sing. Oh, that's what I call it. Heaven and Nature Sing. So it's a blue. I like her nails. So there's that one. And Frozen Flower by Alexander Al Adelaide Needleworks. Alexandra. Uh, Alexandra. 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 Welcome back. Sandra Adelaide Needleworks. So sorry. <laughs> and then he uses like four colors and then beads and floss for back stitches. And I think it's maybe five colors in all. Yep. Wow. And I like that fabric, but it's just linen. Like it's not from somewhere. So mm -hmm. we can maybe buy some. Mm -hmm. uh, and what did Liam have to tell you you weren't allowed to buy today? A lunch bag. But this is literally like a lunch tote. <laughs> oh, I want myself an apron. Like it's a set of Pioneer Woman. It's so pretty. It's like a Christmas thing. Sorry, you the dog is playing with her blankets down there. Yeah. That's the noise you're hearing. Um, so it's an oven yeah, mitt. It's a, like it's a, oh, it's so pretty. It's an, like an oven mitt. Like, you know, it's not the oven mitt. It's like a pot holder, but you can just put it on. So it's got a pot holder. Um, and that apron's so pretty. The blue and the reds, like her colors, like I won't say it's like this, but just I like her with designs that she does. I'm just not a like, pioneer woman. Yeah, I'm not like obsessed with stuff, but I do enjoy the stuff. Um, but anyway, so that's it. 
pocket up front. I like the butterfly at the front. Um, so it's got a pocket. It's got two sides for bottles. And again, I said this is like equivalent to two people's lunch bags. So it's really big and putting it in the front. I mean, maybe if I do put ice packs, I'm just not a huge fan of ice packs. I could do that. I don't know. It's like as big as my purse. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So I think ice packs actually keep it better than an insulated tote in a refrigerator. Because the insulated tote is actually keeping the refrigerator <laughs> stuff out. Right. Yeah, because it keeps on. Uh, so I don't really get the whole mm -hmm. the insulated tote inside of it. But yeah. it came with a little water bottle with this little tiny carabiner. Carabiner. Mm -hmm. So that I just. Uh, We're I'll, not sure if that's actually leak proof though. So I'll just keep it really. inside so it's standing up. It's as useful as it is gorgeous. Yeah, makes its own yeah, claims. So that's what the tag says for the bag too. <laughs> I think that's just for say, per se. That might be her slogan or something. Maybe. We don't really. I don't need up with her. making so. lots of noise today. Oh, that fits. Okay. And it came with a little tiny baggie, which I already have a food pouch, but I might put something in there. I don't know. But if I'm going to the no uh, fridge, then I don't know what I'm gonna put in those things. Let's keep your napkin dry. And... I don't take napkins. We have paper towels. <laughs> Thanks. All right. And then you, just the other day, she said something about, oh, I need like a big zipper bag to put all my other project bags in. And it stinks because they've had these things and I have a birthday at the end of the year. So they are like, huh, we have to wait for that one to give it to her. Cause yeah, it's kind of hard. <sighs> so Cause we wait and wait, wait. 31, I got a personalized bag and it's also insulated. So she can use it for whatever, but yeah. Like, there's gonna be that time where it's like, oh, we need a freezer bag that big or something. And it could be used for that, but it's probably gonna be used for stitching. Because probably. It's a nice gray black bag. Yeah. With my name on it. It says Colleen. Hold on. Yep. Hopefully, you're lucky this is up six nice feet, because you can have some on the floor and I can have some on my lap. And you had a new start last week, didn't you? Uh, two starts. I can't remember which one I started first. Okay. Pick one towel. What day? I think I started this one first. Wait. There's a hair on it. So yeah, I taped some hair to one of my husband's. Wait. Gifts today. No, people have gotten their fabric in lunch, right? Yes. Okay. Christmas fabrics with mocha. <laughs> so it looks amazing. Oh, oh yeah. Do yeah. I have my colors in there? So just in case you don't know how to say them. The Swiss mocha was the neutral, and passion is the... Passion? Yeah. It's the color. And it means passion. Mm -hmm. And we thought that the color was like passion fruit, so... So I started this on the 18th. Um, I really like the fabric, and this is not a huge pattern, so I'm happy for that, but it's so pretty on this fabric. Can we tell them what we saw today? And we are going to have to go up and show Dad as soon as we get it. Yeah, yeah. It was surreal. Um, so, you know, we're trying to get our name out there and stuff. And we we have sent some gifts to some floss tubers that we watch mm -hmm. and know. And one of them was Kia B. And tech guy was sitting there talking about this new project that he started. Mm -hmm. And he holds it up. And I kind of did a double take. I was watching with Lauren yesterday, I think. And I was like... <laughs> kind of looks like our fabric like that looks like my modeling like because I did it right and like we all like sometimes we can tell the difference between what we do and that looked like me and I was just like this but because is weird. she put up the video I was like oh it is about us yeah and so it's about 10 minutes into their video from yesterday but anyway I just didn't and then all of a sudden Kia says because she's the one who says what fabrics they use she's like and that's from Grace Smith's fabrics and I was like, wait, what? That really is ours. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of like freaking out. It was just like one of those moments of, I don't know, it was surreal. And so I showed it to her and it was like, wow, this um, is like so cool. Cause they were talking about it and they like, liked it. And they're like, it's good fabric. It's not stiff and, and it's easy to like maneuver and stuff. And definitely the one piece I have of Ada, I love. Of ours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was just really cool to hear. And we know you guys love it, so we don't want to 
take away from you all, but this is somebody that we have been watching. Even this age, like before like, we I mean, started floss too. Maybe it was soft, but it came in the kit. That's what's fun is that this was the fabric because this was the kit. <laughs> That's right. It came with it. It's stark white, and I said, mm, "It's nice, but we are dyers. We can do what we like." And you did. And they just released the color. We just did the colors. So I was like, "It'll look good." And that was after we dyed mm -hmm. because <clears throat> somehow somebody miscounted and missed a piece of fabric. Mm -hmm. So. I'm like, well, because she's like, oh, that would have been perfect for this. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, I have to dye this, so just hand it off to me, and I did it right along with. So it gave me two pieces. So should I do the dye. cover photo or the progress first? Cover photo. Okay. I started, and I'm going to turn the brightness up. No, down. Down? It's better down. Yeah, it's a little too dark. Um, It keeps the glare off. Okay. High so, Moon Sunset. I'll turn it Cross up Stitch after. Studio. Um, so if, if you can see it, maybe hold it closer. Um, so if this is rough to see, I'll turn the it up also, and then you can... We, uh, I started that, I don't know really who other people have started it, but I started it because I started with Hannah Dowling from Hannah Dowling. <laughs> um, her channel is really easy. If you don't watch her, go find her. It's Hannah, Hannah Dowling. Um, <laughs> so I started that. I like it. And I am doing something I've never done before, other than this is my third full coverage project because I have my Christmas review, I have my Melody in Pink, and I have this, and I think it will get really, you know, oh, it poked through, so, and you should be on the front, thank you, okay, technical difficulties, but I have probably, I mean, I could click on it and find out how many stitches I have, but I am doing the full cross, is it the back girl, oh, and you need to click on it, I have almost 250 stitches um but anyway so i'm doing full cross one over one on 28 count that's mm -hmm. a new thing mm -hmm. and, and i'm like actually enjoying it, it. Yeah. like me what what else oh um you just close it off i can get out though mm -hmm. so at some point like because ah what are our plans i might start this one here do i get it afterwards no it's like up here And then that's kind of you know, really true. Right out of the okay. So, so I have four full fabric. covered. And it's 25 counts, so. Oh, yeah, you can definitely do. Um, one Carla does one over one. Whatever. Is that. That's like bigger or smaller? A little bit bigger than 28. Not yeah. a lot. I really like to cover on the 28. But yeah, right out of the go, you okay. Um, but I you have blue it. fabric? Baby blue. I think it's It'll that's be really nice then. Mm hmm. And coming up is Christmas Eve. What are we doing now? Are we going to do our art video? Oh, yeah. Because, yes, we got our ornament shapes from Hobby Lobby, right? No. Where did we get them from? We did. But we were given them at StitchCon. Oh, that's right. Ah. So we have our ornament studio. Yeah. So okay. we will come back and make a short video of just our ornaments. I don't know. Since I'm doing these dailies, I might just throw it in. <laughs> Um, I don't know, unless she has plans to be back, I won't be back on until I have my next 1400 stitches in this. Mm -hmm. Um, as far as video, um, Zoom on Christmas night, I am going to turn it on probably around 5 p.m. for those who don't have family and friends that they're right. with, and we'll pop in and say hi from time to time. So we're not going to be absent, but I kind of will be because I'm hoping, like last year we played a family game that was crazy. Remember villains or whatever? No. Oh. <laughs> so I'm hoping we'll do something like that again. And then, um, but we'll pop in and say hello. And, mm -hmm. but we want it to be on for the people who know each other and would like to spend time together. Right. Yeah. yeah. And we want to say hi. Smell the candles. <laughs> I wish you could. Oh my gosh, which smell of vision was a thing. I wonder if anyone does have any of those. How, if anyone else likes Bath & Body Works. Oh yeah, they please let us scent. know if you do. Because like, oh, Colleen's bought the body I bought it. cream, <laughs> the body wash. But I think I got a body wash for Christmas. Mm -hmm. 
because we were doing the buy three get three free and like I threw a few things in for myself and Lee unwrapped them so I really have no idea but because I have that memory like I didn't even remember we talked to Alan tonight at Hobby Lobby. I know. My husband we're sitting at dinner we told him to meet us there and he said to me did you talk see Alan? I said we saw him but we didn't talk to him. It was right before we checked out. And then we're sitting here after her gifts and she said something about talk, I, her ring. She had showed it to him when we talked to him. I'm like, hmm? I don't remember talking to him. I think that's my ring. Yes. Like, just everyone I showed it to, because I think there was a few people in the break room. And they're just like, oh, the dish is on it. And I'm just like, that's the reaction I want. Like, I'm glad. Like, I like it. And it's real. So she can never, so she never has to take it off because it can be showered with. Right. Yeah. It's a real sapphire. I remember the one guy, he was like, the man-made ones are more of a lighter blue, but the real ones are the look into my eyes deep ones. <laughs> yeah. Like, yes. Look into my oh. eyes. Yeah. And that's what you wanted. Mm -hmm. And um, so, yeah. Did you have a good birthday? Mm -hmm. You had a long day, didn't you? You even slept in today. Mm -hmm. um, so she bought bagels, made her sisters think about bagels. And today is Baker's Dozen at Hot, um, Panera, where they're cheaper. And they're out of them. What? Yeah. So we were there for lunch and we're like, okay, let's order some bagels. That, that way when we're leaving, we can pick them up and walk out. And they only had two flavors. And we were like, no. The sprouted wheat and cinnamon swirl. Like cinnamon swirl is good, but they have something cinnamon crunch. That's, That's what they wanted. Really good. Cinnamon crunch and even <laughs> blueberry. <laughs> I even like plain bagels. Like. But yeah, because no. Panera's bagels are good, and if anything, my favorite bagel in the whole wide world is the pink ribbon. Oh my gosh, yes, always, forever, and a day. I think next year we just need to plan. And since Leanne will have a job, you have a job, and I have a job, and then maybe our fabric business is doing well enough that that can pay for another week. Each week, we should take a Tuesday, and each one of us buy a baker's dozen. Yeah, because we share. Yeah, there's a baker's dozen. Like, there's, yeah. there's six of us. Well, no, five because that one's gone. So yeah, there's plenty. But anyway, they're really good. The pink ribbon because they're a cherry vanilla. Mm. Um, so we're gonna go up and have ice cream. What kind of ice cream did you want? Root beer float. And nobody else liked it, but I'm like, I. Well, it's stuff. not that. Um, the last time I bought root beer float, I had also bought salted caramel. Right. So Lauren was like, well, if you're buying the root beer float, can you buy salted caramel for me? Right. And of course, Connie's like, well, yeah, because that's more root beer float for me. So I bought salted caramel. I'd say for us, but I think I'm going to eat like a spoonful. Like I'm actually literally going to dip a spoon in and that's it. Mm -hmm. Not even waste a bowl. And then um, I got cookies and cream for the men because my husband doesn't like things if they're not chocolate. Although he said he's going to try your root beer float. So we'll put a scoop of each in for him. So, mm, okay. Happy birthday, Colleen! Yay! I'm <laughs> 19, by the way. She is 19 today, and it's going to be over in a half hour. So let's go have some ice cream. Yay! And we're going to say, Happy, Happy stitching! stitching!